they spent so much time advertising uh, their uh, virtue, uh, yep. signaling their virtue, that they didn't spend any time at all, any time at all, actually promoting uh, their comics and trying to make a living and trying to enrich the company that they work for. Matthew Rosenberg, this clown over there at Marvel, <laughs> uh, he came out. Fuck. He came out last year and he said, "Let it be known that I will never work with Ethan Van Scott. Who the f <laughs> who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> who are these people? Who are these people that assume that I would work? Do you understand, Matthew? <laughs> I know you've heard of me." I'm Ethan Van Skyver. I'm one of the biggest comic book artists in the fucking world. Who are you? Yeah. I've never heard of you. I've never heard of you. You are not. You are not. Invited to work. Dude, I'll work with Jim Lee before he even comes close to working with you. That's Ethan. like me saying, you know what? I'm never jamming with you two. It's never happening. Bono, suck my dick. I don't like your politics. You're not getting me and my keyboard to on stage with you. Uh, eat a dick. That that is exactly what just happened. This is the same exact thing. Now, this clown says, post, sad as hell that I have to say this, but here we are. I think comic books should be for everyone. I think pieces of all people of all races, uh, genders, <laughs> sexual identities, religions, and political leanings should make comics or be able to see themselves on the shelves. And I just retweeted him and said, if you guys keep this up, you're all going to be seeing yourselves on the fucking streets. Keep sending comic skaters gay porno and threats. It's selling comics. Hours. Yeah. Yeah. Hours. Yeah. And